Now I'm going to demonstrate the gradient descent method using Python. First, I define this Python function. This function takes x as input and the output is x squared plus 4x plus 5. So this function returns this value given this x value. So this is basically a quadratic function that generates a problem. And we know that when x is negative 2, the function has the minimum value, which is 1. This uppercase n is number of iterations. And iteration is a vector, 0 up to n minus 1. And x opt is optimal x candidate. And this is also a vector. The first candidate value is 0. And dx is a delta x, which is used to find the slope or the first derivative. And mu is the step size. Now we have a for loop here, and this lowercase n is iteration index, and that goes from 0 up to n minus 2, because this upper limit is not included. And slope at this point, x opt of n, can be defined as delta f over delta x. So the change in f function over dx. So if you make this ds value smaller, like 0 0.01, you can have a more accurate uh, slope. So if this dx approaches 0, we have dfx dx, which is basically uh, what differentiation is about. Here we have gradient descent algorithm. So the next x opt is determined by previous x opt and we have a slope here, we have a step size here. Basically, uh, we want to move in the negative direction or the opposite direction of this slope. So if the slope is negative, then this value will become positive. So this one will be greater than this. Or if the slope is positive, this value will be negative and this will be smaller than this. So let me run this code and see what happens. So I run the code. And this is what we have. This x opt decreases and reaches negative 2, which is what we want, right? And we reach this negative 2 around like 400 when the iteration index is 400. Now, let me change this step size. Let's make it 0 0.001. Let's make it smaller and let's see what happens. Even after like 1000, we are not still close to negative 2. So let me increase this number of iteration. Let's increase it to 10,000. Let me run the code again. And now we see that after like 3000 or 4000, we reach this negative 2. Okay, so step size matters. If, uh, if you decrease step size, Basically, you need have to do more computation. Then does it mean that if we increase step size, it's always better? So let's make it 0 0.01 this time and run it. Okay, maybe well, we want to decrease this number of iterations. Make it 10. Okay, maybe 10 is too small. Let's make it um, 30. And run it again. And you see that which is quite okay. Now let me change the step size to 1 and see what happens. So if the step size is too large, then the result is not what we want. So this shows that it is important to have a good step size.